prepare for the ultimate battle of cuteness. How's it going everybody? My name is Blue and oh my gosh, I can't even handle it. These both are so cute. Let's start with the cat cube. So we can see that it's given us a great big smile. That's nice. Look at that smile. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. It's got its whiskers. Oh, it's so adorable. Oh, it's got the whiskers and the big smile and it's holding its hands in the air like it's gonna give you a double high five. Double high five. It's got its little ears sticking up. Oh my goodness, its little paws. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's got its tail. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love the way this puzzle looks. Good grief. What about the panda cube? Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's got these eyes, these big eyes. Oh my gosh, oh man. And it's got this little smile with his mouth open. Oh, and he's got his little hairs. Oh, and his ears. Oh, look at his little paws. Oh, he's got his little feet. Oh, and his little tail. Oh, I am just a sucker for cute stuff. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I haven't already made this video. Ah, oh, they're so cute. Okay, so, so in the battle of cuteness, I'd probably have to give it to the panda because those eyes, ah. Oh. What about like, like puzzle solvability? Let's, let's take a look at that. I'm not looking for like speed cubes here because I don't care what the corner cutting or the, or the, you know, finger trick ability is. I just want a puzzle that's fun to solve. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. Here we go, three, two, nope, I'm not sneezing. Yes, I am. Uh, I can do, <coughs> God bless me. So, the cat cube seems to have pretty good turning quality. Let's just get through this solve though. Just solving the head. Look at his little face. Oh, but his bottom half is all messy. Let's fix that problem. Oh, T-perm. Hooray! I'm so happy to be back alive again! Woo! Oh, he stuck that landing. Woo! You stuck that landing, Cat Cube. Now let's see the solvability of the panda. The master panda. That would be funny to get like a 4x4 version of this. So what's funny about the panda cube is because it has such a big head and a small body, pieces stick way out. It's, it's funny. Ugh, help me. Ugh, no, I don't even want to think about that. Oh my goodness, you look so bad. I'll fix you, whoops, that's weird. Woo, that's weird. So in case you guys haven't already noticed, this is like a panic video where I have no idea what to make. So let's just talk about the cutest thing in the world. Yeah, I got his head back. No. Oh, I'm totally doing that again once it's all solved. This is weird. This actually looks weird. There we go. Back solved. Yay. So both of these puzzles are pretty fun to solve. I think that the panda cube actually turns slightly better. They both turn pretty well. It's honestly hard to say who's more awesome though, because like, look at this cat, it's awesome. Like if you're having like troubled times and you need to like, like maybe like you're, you're getting bad grades or, or you're like not paying your bills, you can just look at this thing and be like, this is like a motivational cat. It gives you inspiration, determination, and motivation to like, just do it. Just do it. Yay, determination, woo. But this panda is like, so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this look to this panda. But I honestly feel like I wouldn't be able to look to this thing for inspiration. 
This is just like a, this is the good job panda. This is the thing that you look at after you're done doing the, the after the hardship is over. It's like, yay, congratulations, you did it, woo. Oh yeah, I was gonna do that thing. No, you cannot eat a piece of cake. Why am I worried about eating a piece of cake? I'm a teenager. I'm I'm resilient. No, you're not. We toys can see everything. I need a comment contest. Who wins? You decide. Leave a comment down below which is more awesome. I cannot handle this. Whichever one is more awesome, I'll probably make a review of or something. We'll do some sort of celebration. Happy holidays, everybody. Woo! You know, if you angle it just right, you can stand your panda cube on its head. No, just kidding. I'm propping it up with the cat cube. You sneaky cat. What are you doing back there? But you can stand up your cat cube on its head. I wonder. Nope, that's never happening.